Hey, what's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are having a great week. Hopefully you've enjoyed the uh, videos that have come out, stuff from the NNL. We had our resin review Tuesday. Went over some stuff I received in the mail, which was really cool. And now here we are Thursday, throwback Thursday, if you saw in the thumbnail. We've got some more older Corvette stuff, which we did not too long ago, right? So one thing is, I was kind of going back, I got to, one thing I got to do on my end is keep, keep better track on what we do and definitely keep it mixed up. But occasionally you will see, not back to back, but you might see a, here we have a 61 Corvette and I believe a 60, 62. And we did a 61 a couple, maybe three weeks ago, four weeks ago, but it was a different kit. That one was one we were hinging the trunk on, working on. I think the one here is a new one. Uh, the 61 Impala, kind of thought that was neat because we just did the model house on Tuesday for resin review. <clears throat> I think we may have done a 61 Impala before, but this is another kit. We, you know, these are things that kind of have pristine older kits and we have some that we picked up that have been started, but complete or we've stripped. So you see a very variation of things, right? Um, some of the stuff we have multiples of, very fortunate to have that. And, you know, that's a fortunate thing with Pops building, collecting, as well as myself. We have both of us doing it. So on the upside, you kind of get a good range of stuff. On the downside, you run out of room to store stuff. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead. I think today we're going to take a look at the 61 Impala. Got a really cool issue of Customs Illustrated we're going to look at all of them are really cool but when i say this one's really cool i'm just mean that what's in there what luke did and in, in this everything just really hits for me it's right up the odd love to build models similar to pretty much all these cars so anyways guys uh let's kind of get into everything and uh appreciate all all the uh, subs likes comments dialogue that definitely means i'm glad you guys are enjoying the content so let's get right into it all right, everybody, so that'd be kind of cool. Go through this original AMT 61 Impala being on Tuesday. We did a review of a model house 61 Impala. So this is one of the old originals. This is something we picked up that someone had started, stripped it, and kind of got it sitting here. Some really cool stuff. You can see some of those custom parts and the custom version here. Really neat, it'd be cool to see some more of this from round two. Would be really neat. But these are really fun kits. Uh, a lot of cool stuff in these. I like the customizing parts. If you watch the channel enough, you kind of see that's probably the direction the bulk of the stuff will go into, you know. But <clears throat> yeah, this stuff is really cool. It's neat to have this stuff, like, you know piece of history sitting there that's these old instruction sheets real basic kits but they sure look good sitting there on the shelf <clears throat> some of the race custom options different tips little display stuff the old what was that TV and a tracks a tracks crazy and the old other available kits. Those would be cool to get your hands on right now. Some customizing parts. So really neat. <clears throat> A lot of cool stuff that could be done with these. You know, had some people ask with some of the newer, newer stuff that's been out. Um, you know, I like both. I like to have the old stuff, the new. 58 Impalas are a good example. I like the old AMTs, the newer AMTs, and the Revels. Same with the 61 Impalas or the 59 and 60s. Cool to have both. They both kind of serve a purpose for me. You know, I definitely like this older stuff. You know, it kind of takes me back to when I got into the hobby as a kid, remembering the first few kits I saw up in the rafters that Pops had put away. Um, probably more stuff from the 70s and 80s and a few of these and then these are kind of what we started buying on eBay the swap meets 
So it's really cool. It just kind of takes me back to something him and I have to share and something I'll always remember and Belle, my other daughter. So it's really cool. You know, definitely, definitely enjoy having the old stuff as well as the newer stuff. And to me, I would definitely say working with some of this older plastic is a little nicer than working with some of the newer plastics. Depending on what you're doing with it. But anyhow, you kind of get a look there. So let's go ahead and dive into our magazine now. Got a really good one here. Good issue. I think you guys are going to like it a little. I mean, I like them all, but this one, the magazine we're going to look at today just has car after car that really just, for me, it just grabs my attention. All right, give me a second, and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, so here we go with our Customs Illustrated, issue number seven, right off the bat. We got West Coast Customs, cruising Paso Robles. Really cool. Love Paso. It's like my home away from home. Spend a bit of time out there hanging out. Cars, wine. Good food, good drinks, good people. Shoot pool, cars, really good culture out there. Since though, the show is now the West Coast Customs out in Santa Maria. I believe they're trying to get something going back in Paso again. But man, look at that right off the bat. That's, that's gorgeous. Really cool. That is just a beautiful 51. Let's see here. Nice little French tail lights, headlights, it's a Corvette grill. 52 Buick tail lights. Man, that is beautiful. Custom news. Von Dutch. Oh man, here we go. Oh, that's an eye grabber right there. Beautiful. Old Rancheros are really nice. Thank you guys. If you look back at one of the resin reviews I did a while back, got those like, Jimmy Flintstone bodies. Looking forward to doing some stuff with those. Now we jump into a 60 Impala. Another beautiful car. Man, this thing, all these magazines have really nice stuff, but I got to tell you right off the bat this episode, everything I'm seeing is just beautiful, right up my alley at least. Ever lack. Let's see what we got here. Beautiful styling there. Super clean. one 49 Studebaker really cool definitely do not see those every day and definitely not one all cut up and customized like this the Stude Gives you an idea of some of the work that went into it there. And we got some artist spotlight. Very cool. Check that out. That is sweet. Lost Coast Customs. Very neat. And here we go. Some West Coast Customs. Cruising Nationals. Outstanding.
that's sweet right there. That's beautiful. Really cool. The design work in this is just outstanding. Love my shoebox Fords, Mercs. Really, really cool stuff. Love those 36s. Love to have one of those. Nice 53. Another shoebox. Man, beautiful stuff. That 41. Look at that 56. That is sweet. Nice and subtle. Shoebox, nice customized. Looks like the up thirty six. There's a sweet T bird there. Very cool. We got that magazine or book actually. That's something I want to build a few more of. Are some T birds in in the style here? Make some beautiful little mild customs. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at that 56. Steve's 56 Bel Air. Really nice. I have, so two, I have a 55 and a 56 that are in progress, started, I'd like to build. Similar to this, for the most part, stock. A little, couple little subtle changes maybe, but just some nice white walls, chrome wheels. Hopefully get those knocked out this year. They've been sitting for a while. Very cool. Very nice. May have just found my favorite customs illustrated to date with all the stuff in that. So, hope you guys are having a good Thursday. Hope you're enjoying the uh, channel here. And uh, we've got some more stuff coming out, so be ready for that. And I uh, hope you guys are having a good week. Hope it continues to be a good week. And we'll see you in a day or two. Take care, everybody.